Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So here we're looking at how to present mathematics in Word. So we're going to be rearranging a formula. Let's start off by using insert equation. So insert new equation. And we're going to have k equals, and we'll have a fraction. And it's going to be 5 plus 3t in the numerator and the denominator 2 minus t. And what I'm going to do now is not just enter, but I'm doing shift and enter. You'll see why we need to do this later on. So let's um, think about what we're doing here. We are rearranging this to make t the subject. So at the moment we've got k in terms of t. We want to make t the subject. So t is in two places. So we're going to start off by multiplying across by the denominator. So we will leave the k where it is. And we will open some brackets here. So we'll put the 2 minus t inside the brackets. And then we've got equals, and then that's going to be, we don't need brackets for the numerator, do we? So that's going to be 5 plus 3t. And then shift and enter again. And let's multiply out the brackets on the, uh, on the left-hand side. So we've got 2k minus kt. And the right hand side will be just the same. So that's 5 plus 3t. And then shift and enter. Um, now, we really want to have everything that's got a t in it on the left hand side. I know that a lot of you prefer to see a positive coefficient in front of a t. So you know what you could do here? You could just swap sides. So what I'm going to do is write. 5 plus 3t on the left hand side now. There's no reason why we can't just swap over sides so long as we're not swapping anything else over. So if 2k minus kt is 5 plus 3t, then 5 plus 3t, well that's just going to be 2k minus kt. Oh no, I meant to do shift and enter. So the good thing is if you forget to do it you can actually see that that's happened because the um, um, the cursor jumps over to the, uh, the left. Right, so we've done shift and enter for each line so far. So we're looking to get everything that's got a t in it on the left hand side and everything else on the right hand side because we're aiming to get the t on its own on the left hand side. So what are we going to do next then? Well, we could do this in a couple of stages, couldn't we? Let's just leave the 3t on the left-hand side on its own. So we're taking the 5 away from both sides. So we've got 2k on the right-hand side, and we're taking the 5 away from that side. And we've still got the uh, minus kt on that side. And I'm going to remember shift and enter. And we want everything that's got a t in it on the left-hand side. So that's going to be... 3t and now we're adding kt to both sides so that's plus kt and that's going to be equal to what have we got left well we've got the 2k and the minus 5. that is looking good so shift and enter that so we're trying to write t equals something so we need to factorize the left hand side so that the t only appears in one place so we've got 3 plus k, oops, not h, k, and so we want a close bracket and equals, and that's still going to be equal to 2k minus 5. Shift and enter. And now we're just about there because we can see that if we divide both sides by 3 plus k, that we will have t equal to something or other. So now I'm going to write t equals, and we want a fraction, 
So in the numerator, we're going to have 2k minus 5. And in the denominator, 3 plus k, because we're dividing both sides by 3 plus k. So now I'm going to highlight all of that and right click and put a line at equals. And doesn't that look much neater? We wouldn't have been able to do that if we hadn't put in the shift with the enter each time. 